And so last night, I was just tuning into Monday Night Raw, and I was like, you know, like, what are the chances we see a pro, a streamer on a, a pro wrestling thing? You know, not like Logan Paul, but like, like a streamer, you know, like, no way, right? No way there's going to be a streamer that just pops on a Monday Night Raw, right? Well, I kid you not, um, this happened last night, and I was like, okay, well, this is great. I show speed on Monday Night Raw. This could be me. You know, and it, it makes you think, you go like, holy hell, like... I want to be this kid. <laughs> I would kill to be this kid right now. <laughs> Think about how fun that is. The WWE draft was on Monday and he was announcing uh, the, the, uh, the draft picks. <laughs> you know, you never know like how someone will do like in a public audience or more so speed is just very like loud. And so I was nervous that he was just going to like overtly yell into the microphone. Well, he did overtly yell, but he did a really good job. People were like in the comments saying like he could have a commentary career if he wanted to. I don't see it, but, but I get what they mean. Like I thought he was like, he did a very good job. Hey, real quick before we get started, y'all know we got a very special guest in the house tonight. Samantha Irvin, why don't you do a nice intro? Oh, also Patrick Mahomes was there. Just casually having Patrick Mahomes in the audience. Also, Samantha Irvin is like literally the greatest announcer of all time. Is this the power of Logan Paul? This is the power of Logan Paul, right? It just gets everyone to be at the shows nonstop. And now, with the first pick. <laughs> okay, Speed did mess up once. He like cut Logan off mid conversation. He goes, "Wait, was I supposed to go there?" <laughs> Speed, don't ask now. You already you already cut him off. Just say say what you gotta say. <laughs> with the first pick in the second round of the 2024 WWE Draft. He kind of killed it though. You know what I mean? Like he kind of slayed. You know, Speed's got this voice. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's like yawning half half the time when he, he says the word. All right, let, let's hear him do his second one. Uh huh. It's, I can't tell if it's like a sleigh or if like I feel for his vocal cords, you know? Sometimes I wonder if Speed's voice just hurts all the time. Pain is temporary? Yeah, so is so is your throat after that shit. I imagine you're going to be in so much pain after all this, you know what I mean? Like, poor guy. Don't worry, he's the throat goat. <laughs> Props to Speed for living out my dream. In fact, he lived out my dream so hard. This morning, okay? <laughs> I just... Oh, What's good, man? Yo, you my favorite wrestler of all time. Do I scream now or do I scream later? Do I scream now or do I scream later? I want to look eye to eye to Rey Mysterio because we're about the same height. I swear to God, hey, I promise you, you're the GOAT, bro. Seriously, bro. Oh, hell! I want Rey Mysterio to give me, an, give me a fucking mask. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Damn, oh, Rey got a small head. I want to have a big ass head that can't fit the mask on it because my head's just so fucking massive. I want my forehead to be the size of. Oh, yeah, there God. There go. Get your bigger one. Oh. Oh. It fit. Oh. He kind of looks really good with the mask on, though. Yes, sir, bro. To even, like, let's take away the joking part of this, right? Or the part where I'm like, oh my God, I wish that was me. And let's just insert the dang. I love this for him. Arc, you know, I just love this. I love this for him. That's so like oh, such a W such a W for speed I'm happy that he was able to have that because I know he's a wrestling fan I, I don't think he's like someone who watches regularly, you know, but like pretty damn dope, right? Rey Mysterio has got to be like on the mountain of your superheroes, right? Like he's up there, isn't he? He's a small ass guy who wears a mask and somehow somehow He'd be kicking like people's asses. You know what I mean? Like him versus the big show wrestling's real to me Wrestling's real to me. People don't want to admit it but guess what? Think about it like this. Wrestling's more real than The Bachelor. You know why I say that? Because half The Bachelors probably get divorced, right? Didn't Pilot Pete and What's-Her-Face not work out? I keep up with my reality TV. I'm pretty sure they didn't work out. But guess what did work out? The Undertaker streak ending. 